This, we, we are not here to whatever the executive brings into this house, we would want to defeat it uh, when we disagree with them. I think in one of the workshops, uh, in one of our workshops, Onad Mkhaka makes the point of mediation. He, he, he makes the point of mediation. We are just taking the power back, the power that belongs uh, to the legislature. So it's not about competition. I think it's very, very important that um, we highlight that point. We had two successful workshops as a standing committee on money bill, and the following, and following those discussions during the workshop, I can confidently state that the standing committee is equal to the task ahead. This was evident in how the members of the standing committee have interacted with the various presentation some admittedly so very high level. And I hope members of this August House will emulate with the patience exactly what we did in East London as the, at, at this workshop, as this workshop is meant to equip us all and be able to discharge our constitutional responsibilities. Because we're not just here for two days to, as, as a by the way, we are here to be equipped so that we can discharge our responsibilities and apply our mind properly when we deal with matters of budget. It can be that the term will end some of us not even knowing the old rules. Also resolved upon, and as, as the standing committee also resolved upon a need to follow through are the channels between the FFC and the provincial treasurer regarding the FFC recommendation on the Eastern Cape budget to the legislature. This we hope these two institutions will resolve among themselves and inform the committee on the agreement and timelines. You can't have two institutions of government. I mean, two institutions, Treasurer and FFC disagreeing or ignoring one another's recommendation. And almost wanting legislature to be the arbiter of their disagreement. So, so we hope that the gap will actually uh, uh, be, be closed. Partnership with the relevant stakeholders will also be necessary. And for that, we shall rely on the continued support of the legislature. Whilst members have been appointed to, to this standing committee, to the standing committee of, on money bills, it is crucial that the whole legislature rallies behind it as it carries on its shoulders the aspiration of the people of this province. Hence, we are doing this workshop. So that we are not saying rely behind the standing committee on matters that you know nothing about. Hence, we're saying this workshop must ensure that when we live here, we understand the act. The question of the standing committee, the question of the staffing of the standing committee, even on an interim basis, through sec secondment of officials to the committee, cannot be overemphasized. You know, Honorable Malamlela always makes this uh, point that Lemoto, it's, it's like a beautiful car, but wheels has been taken off, or with no engine. He always make this point. Glorified nomasinana, uh, if you want to put it that way. You know, no teeth to bite. As I learned, honorable members, I would like to look at the international perspective. The international debate is framed as tensions between the role of the executive and the legislature, between technicality and democracy. In virtually all countries, it is accepted, it is accepted that the executive has a mandate to prepare the budget, as it possesses the most comprehensive information on which to base revenue and ex as expenditure decisions. 
as in many other countries, this is recognized in, sec in section 65 of our constitution, which gives the executive the sole right to initiate and prepare the money bills. The role of the legislature is to exercise oversight and to authorize the executive to raise revenue and spend money. The basic dilemma between technicality and democracy has led to a compromise internationally whereby most parliaments have restricted their powers over the budget. In return, most were able to maintain their sovereignty by keeping a closer watch of budget execution, thereby strengthening the capacity to make informed amendments. Every system will have to balance this tension through the design of the process and its rules. And I hope after this workshop, we'll come out capacitated and be able to amend the budget where necessary. Thank you very much. The, the serious. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable uh, Tuba. <laughs> For purposes of order and prevention of chaos, I declare in Thank you very much. Uh, Deputy Chief. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Duba, for, for doing that uh, as the chair of the committee uh, and also outlining briefly the purpose and the objectives of this, um, of this workshop. We'll quickly go to the credentials who are supposed to be here. Um, maybe I fail to say, umnyake umdu. There is only one person Abba, that, that calls my name in full, only one in this legislature, and that's the chief whip. Um, <laughs> and others think that maybe I'm sick. Chair. The sweetest part of it. Chair. He calls me Nomasikizi full time, um, so my name is Nomasikizi Konza. So I'm gonna go to the issue of the credentials and the the and then we'll deal with the with the apologies as they have been submitted uh, to the office of the chief whip uh, from the different angles uh namkoto uh, honorable members uh so that was about comfortable <laughs> no, the reason for me standing up is that I'm short, so I'm disadvantaged. And I can't give women, I can't give you a speaker, I can't give you a speaker. We are going to call on, the, on our technical team to deal with the issue of the credentials as to who was supposed to be, to be here. Uh, over to you, uh, Tim. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson of the session. Let me just quickly go through the credentials and Advocate Badge, I will handle the apologies. I think the workshop is held by the Money Bills Committee, that is the Budget and Standing Committee on the Budget and Money Bills, and then it's to, to capacitate, that is the members, as has already been said. What I can say, that is the Chairperson of the Committee, who is also the Chair of Chairs, is here amongst us and also members of the committee itself. They are part of the members who are here. And also the members of the legislature on whose behalf the workshop is held, is being held, they are here amongst us. To assist, that is the budget, I mean the budget and money bills committee in facilitation of the workshop and, and the progress, we have got to Dr. Yankees from, from the parliamentary budget office over that side, the national parliament, from the national parliament. And we also have oh, Mr. Sianda Jonas from the FFC. We also have oh, Mr. Sabelum Tatando also from the FFC. 
And then we have, that is the provincial treasury, the delegation is led by oh, Mr. Karl Marshall. That is from, or let me not say from program four of the legislature, that is the DTG, now is the acting HOD. Accompanying him, we've got Mr. Mklomi, that is the DTG from the provincial treasury also. And then they've got, that is that team is also, have got three chief directors, Mr. Carvender, Mr. Kali, and Mr. Stolle. I think those are the people that we have here with us this morning. Thank you, Honorable Chair. And then there is you and Advocate Pesha. And, and Ms. Stirman. And, and Mamu Stirman. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm taking your order, Honorable Kotoi. <laughs> At least everybody saw me now. So now yeah. We apologies. are going to, to try and... Uh, apologies. Oh, the apologies, yes. Yes. There, there's Sorry. a future... Um, morning to yourself and the honorable members and the guests. Um, we have a couple of apologies, one from Honorable Van Bochenroder, but I see he is here. Um, <laughs> oh, it's for tomorrow, apologies. And um, we also have an apology from Honorable Botha. The other apology is from Honorable Lobiche. And um, we also have an apology from Commissioner um, Khabutlane from the FFC. Um, Dr. Mieteza has already said that we have an apology of the HOD from Provincial Treasury and Mr. Galmache is the acting um, HOD from Provincial Treasury. Um, the Secretary to the Legislature um, also submitted an apology. She will join us late. She, is, um, she started at the audit committee meeting um, for the review of, of our annual financial statements. Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you so much. Um, are you are you covered, Chief Whip, from your from your side on the side of members? Um, are there no uh, members that have submitted apologies on you? I don't want us to move, or they have been submitted there. Okay. 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 We do, we do have uh, apologies. Let me greet you formally and uh, honorable members. Uh, normally when we speak, we rise as honorable members. It's only at that uh, table, but I could see uh, we are taken for a ride by that man and uh, seated next to Peja. You see? Now, uh, Honorable Saziwa, the Portfolio Chair of Education, Honorable Weziwe, uh, Tigana, Kotiwe, the two have, sub have attended uh, <coughs> the awards by the Department of Education uh, in East London. They will not be part of us uh, today, but tomorrow they will be in. Honorable Gaia has requested to be excused uh, during the proceedings. She has an appointment with the doctor. And uh, Honorable Vimbayo, unfortunately, our today's meeting clashes with a stakeholders meeting in uh, Queenstown. Uh, I think uh, that's about that uh, from my side. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Chief. Sorry, Honorable Pese is an appointment with the doctor. is going to join us together with uh, Honorable Gomba. They, they have uh, a doctor's appointment. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Chief. Um, let, let, I think we are going to be very, very strict on time so that we are able to, to finish all the work that we're supposed to do. Um, and also we'll have to see how we save time uh, on certain aspects so that we can be able to make up a little for, for the hour or so that we lost. We are therefore quickly going to move uh, down with our agenda or our program and we quickly go to um, the person that is going to do the overview um, of the journey to, to present. 
and that is Honorable Benjamin um, Camelio Benjamin. Over to you, man. <laughs> Thank you very much, Honorable Chair of the Session. Good morning, um, Honorable Chair of Chairs, Deputy Chair of Chairs, Honorable Chief Whip, Deputy Chief Whip, the Honorable Members, uh, the PBO, the FFC and Treasury, as well as the staff led by Advocate Beja and Dr. Miataza. Um, and greetings to everybody else that is not on this list. Chair, I, I won't take the whole 20 minutes. Um, the background of this chair is that this process started in 2008. An attempt was made by the Eastern Cape Legislature to develop this act. However, it aborted it at a draft white paper stage. The Executive Committee of the Legislature resolved on the 26th of May that the draft legislature to amend the money bills be initiated to ensure enhanced oversight in the consideration of the provincial budget. That, that was explained now by Honorable Chair of Chairs. The decision was endorsed by the Rules Committee at its meeting held on the 29th of March, 2017. The ad hoc committee on money bills was subsequently established and the terms of reference of the standing rules of order of the provincial legislator. The committee was revived in the sixth term of the legislator in order to finish this work. This is the term that we are in now. The mandate of the ad hoc committee on money bills was to draft a white paper on the policy behind the legislator. The white paper outlined the proposed amendments should be only be done from an oversight perspective with no intention to rewrite the budget as policy making is the responsibility of the executive. I think that was also explained it's not to overtake anybody else's work. The mandate for the ad hoc committee was derived from section 123 of the constitution which provides that a provincial act must provide for a procedure which the province legislator must, may amend a money bill. It was also derived from the standing rule of 154.3, which states that a money bill may only be amended by the legislator in terms of the procedure provided for in an act of the legislator. So the ad hoc committee met and produced a draft white paper and a draft bill which was utilized to solicit comments from relevant stakeholders. The committee also had its first of its kind benchmarking with the Financial and Fiscal Commission of SA and with the Gauteng Provincial Legislator. I must say the Gauteng Provincial Legislator has got a committee like this, but they've never gone any, any way forward as to what the Eastern Cape has done. And we are the only two provinces that has had an attempt of this, and the, this province has gone the furthest with this actual bill. Uh, the committee also attended and participated in the third African Network of Parliamentary Budget Offices Conference hosted by the National Parliament in Cape Town in 2018, as well as the fourth Africa Network of Parliamentary Budget Offices Conference hosted by the Parliament of Ghana in Accra in 2019. I must say it was quite a surprise when we got there. Um, and we were pre representing SA, not just the Eastern Cape, because we were the only ones that were present there. And believe it or not, we were thrown the deep end in the deep end and most of the sessions we had to chair. So it was quite an experience to us as the Eastern Cape as to how other countries are doing this. The draft poll was published in the Provincial Gazette number 4389 for comment on the 24th of February 2020. Engagement with the Provincial Treasury, Office of the Premier, members of the Legislature, and the Auditor General also took place. The bill was subsequently introduced in the Legislature on the 3rd of July 2020 
Further comments were invited on the bill through emails, print, media, radio adverts, and social media platforms. In fulfilling Section 180 of the Constitution, which enjoins the legislator to facilitate public involvement in its legislative processes, the ad hoc committee had, despite the challenges presented by COVID-19 pandemic, convened a meeting with all stakeholders in order to seek oral and further written inputs on the bill as introduced. The committee then finalized its work and eventually the bill was sent to the Premier for assent. The bill was assented to in August 2021. The Act establishes a budget committee in the legislature, subsequently a standing committee. The Budget and Money Bills Committee has since been established as per the Rules Committee Resolution and its meeting held on the 15th of December 2021. The committee consists of 14 members and was initially chaired by Honorable Nkompani and the whip of the committee was myself, Honorable Camilio Benjamin, but is now led by Honorable Duba, the Chair of Chairs, and Honorable Kaleko as being the whip. The committee held its first meeting on the 22nd of June, 2022. At its inaugural meeting, the Standing Committee on the Budget and Money Bills adopted an action plan that was included in that included capacitation and training of members of the committee on the provisions of the Act. I must say there was quite an interactive um, two training sessions per se. The one was the one that we had virtual and the one was the recent one. And still there is quite a bit of clarity that needs to, to, to be done. So it's actually good that the, the whole house is here to make sure that we do understand what it is that this committee is intending or is permitted to do. A hybrid workshop to capacitate members of the committee was held on the 5th and 6th of July, 2022. As I said, the workshop should have been fully physical as per recommendation of the committee, but the Financial and Fiscal Committee, FFC, at last moment couldn't physically attend the meeting and their presentations were done via uh, MS Teams. Coming out from the workshop was that the task ahead is huge, but it's by no means insurmountable. The committee resolved to ensure that it has to take charge of its capacitation, and this includes a benchmarking exercise with those that have traveled this path before us. Remember, this is going to shake up the whole of the legislator per se, and, and what Honorable Duba was saying is true, because we don't want to be in competition with somebody of some of the committees, but the oversight part of what the committee can do will be challenged, but we must see as to how we will be able to, to make the gap uh, closer. The revised action plan proposed a second workshop for members of the budget committee due to changes in the composition of the committee and training of all MPLs was resolved upon. Also coming out was urgency of secondment of officials to the committee, so as to assist with its day-to-day -day activities as well as taking the key tasks of the committee forward as the Act establishes a provincial legislator budget unit and has some interim arrangements spelled out. The second committee workshop was held on February 2023. So there's still the outstanding issue of the actual staffing of this committee, which is still a challenge because it does have to have a proper staffing component if we want to do what this uh, committee is supposed to do. Thank you very much, um, Honorable Chair. Thank you, Honorable uh, Camelio Benjamin. Can I call talk? Thank you very much. Um, I think now we are clear on the on the journey that we have tra tra transfest or transfest to where we are today, um, in relation as to specifically for the formation of the committee, and um, the working thereof, and also the starting from the promulgation of the same act itself um, through the processes. We are now going to hand over. To this today, there is some cheating that is done here. Um, when it is the honorable members, it's one per item. When it comes to the officials presenting, they share the responsibilities. 
So we must look at that. We, uh, they, they, they seem to overburden us. And I think there is a plan. Um, on, uh, um, Advocate Berger and Dr. Miyatas are going to outline the Eastern Cape's Money Bill Amendment Procedure and Amendment Act uh, so that all members can be abreast with our, what it contains. Over to you, uh, Tim. Uh, whilst, whilst he is coming down, I, I hope that members and participants in the, in the workshop understand that you note whatever you would like to raise uh, so that when we come to the item 